Hey guys, Guthamir, and today we're doing 75 Mortar Monkeys against 1 ZOMG. Now like always, we always start off at 0, 0, 0, and if they cannot completely pop the ZOMG, we will upgrade every single monkey by 1. If you notice the hidden monkey that I place, leave a comment of the monkey. Now I think it's going to take a couple upgrades here. This is kind of memorizing all the mortars going off. Also, I placed it throughout the track. I didn't put it in one select area where the mortars will be placed. I wonder if it's even going to pop here. I don't think so. Yeah, that first round was uh, pretty uneventful. Alright, so we can take three paths here. We can go bigger blast, we can go faster reload or increase accuracy. Now, for me, I think I'm going to go middle path. One, I like it more. And two, I really like the faster reload concept. So now let's upgrade every single Mortar Monkey to 010 and send out the ZMG for round two. Well, at least the hat changes, so there's like a visual. So that's always good. All right, now that every single Mortar Monkey is 010, as we get into round two here, I think it'll actually pop at this time at least. Hopefully. But I'm pretty sure there's still going to be a leak because the first round wasn't that promising. But you can definitely see they ramped up the uh, Mortar rate here. Now, I did kind of put more of an emphasis at the beginning here. I don't know if that will make that much of a difference, but yeah. Are they going to pop it at least? Mm, I don't think so. Once again, very uneventful. All right, now we're going to upgrade every single Mortar Monkey to 020 and send out the ZOMG for round three. All right, the visual on this one's not that great. It does change the base of the mortar to black, but that's about it. If you do enjoy this, please leave a like, and if you haven't already, considered subscribing. Alright, now every single Mortar Monkey is 020. As we get into round 3 here, I think they'll actually pop the ZOMG this time. Not completely again, but it is a lot faster. It just keeps ramping up. It's very memorizing. We get it? Is it gonna pop? I think they might pop it, like, right here. Let's get close. It's so close to popping. And once again, very uneventful. They didn't even pop it. Uh. Alright, now we'll upgrade every single Mortar Monkey to 030 and send out the ZOMG for round 4. Now, I had someone ask me why don't I go a different path for upgrading. Kind of the experiment is we just go one path before we upgrade to other paths. Maybe down the road I'll do a different kind of experiment style where I'll do just any upgrade, not just paths. Now at least this one is very visible to see which one I've upgraded. Alright, now that every single Mortar Monkey is 030, I think they actually might get it this time. Um, Heavy Shells is definitely a big impact. Like They may pop it pretty early, maybe about right here, looking at the pace. Yeah, about right here, yeah, I think they'll get it right here, they'll pop it. It's definitely ramping up pretty quick. Like, this is way faster than the previous rounds. Still have a little bit of a leak, though. So now we'll have to upgrade every single Warner Monkey to 040 and send out the ZMG for round 5. So this is the first time I've had abilities to be used, or maybe it's the first time that I remember. We're not going to use abilities on this experiment. Alright, now that every single Mortar Monkey is 040, I think they definitely have it this time on round 5. By the results of the last one, I think they're going to get it about in the midway, like right here or something. They're going to pop it here pretty soon. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, wow. Yeah, that was pretty easy. All right, guys, that's all my upgrades to take 75 Mortar Monkeys to pop one ZOMG. I'll see you guys in the next experiment. Have a good one.